How long have you been creating art or how long have you been paying for? Ah, well, I think if you ask any artist, they'll probably tell you they've been an artist like their whole life. But I've been doing this professionally, like calling myself an artist for about 20, 25 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm about. That's so exciting. What inspired you with this piece? Um, this piece is um, it's very new. I actually um, completed this in April when I was in residency in uh, MLA Arts in upstate New York. And um, it was um, it was unexpected for me because I had arrived with a plan to work with uh, some ideas of researching transparency um, related to, if we were turning around, the, the paintings that are on the other wall there. And so I had thought that I knew what my palette was going to be, and I knew what images I was going to use. I knew. But when I got there and started walking around this beautiful wooded area, um, I came up with a palette and um, with my camera. I was taking pictures of things that found their way into this painting. So although these pieces, these black things, are represent stencils and pieces that I have used in former paintings, um, and those were stuck up on the canvas while I was thinking about what I was going to do with it. Um, what I ended up doing was representing them as if they were stuck on a very tight material like fabric and plastic and ended up with these, this fantasy landscape that if you were standing in my studio in Malay, you would go like, here's the window, here's the, the, the canvas, and those colors were there. It was just so exciting to see that. It's a fantasy, it's not the real thing. This is, over here, these are, these are frog eggs that were, um, that were growing and turning into little tadpoles while I was there, so. Um, so it's, it, it was imagining shapes and um, basing them on things I was seeing, like the dog wolf branches. So it's real, but it's not real, and mm -hmm. you just have to make a bit of a jewel. The process that I use when I'm working really is kind of a self continuing process. So the work that I'm doing will suggest the next piece of work. It's either going to be a working in collage, the collage like over here, this, this one here, um, led to being translated into that large piece. Um, and similarly, these pieces led into these, these paintings that were expressing ideas of composition and color, um, but working with developing images like that and led to, oh, okay, now I need to make a painting. So that, the reason I selected some of the pieces that were in this group, in this exhibit, is because they sort of express how, the, how I come up with ideas and how I develop them. Stuff. So this, this series is um, there's eleven of them at this point, and they're all related to each other, and they all relate back to one painting where I had one little detail that I was really interested in, but led to it's the first one's not here. This one is the one that's closest to the first one, except that this part here, where the first painting was black, mm -hmm. and then I imagined what would happen if you peel back the black. Oh, oh, that's what happened. That's there. So then I got really excited about this part. What, what if I made a big painting about that? Oh, okay, so that's that here. And then this painting is related to that one. Can you see where we've got, where that is? And this bit here is this painting here. So, it just kind of keeps moving along, just spin it. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. That's really cool. You can definitely see where it's starting to tie in and piece by piece, and it's like a puzzle. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. 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 And um, I've told you I don't have any favorites.
regrets. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything that you would like to know? I can't tell you about the meaning, but I could tell you more about materials and methods. And yeah, anything you can tell us about mediums or methods okay. or kind of what you mean. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I think sometimes people are intrigued by what happens when you take a little thing and you make it big. Because these are not obvious transcriptions of a little collage. They're, you know, they're capturing ideas, but they're not like going one to one, um, being dictated by the small one. And what's interesting to me in that translation at this scale is figuring out well, how are you going to take this little gesture that you might do with just like a small motor thing and then make it big, which actually requires that you're Full body. Like I have to work this size. I can't normally get bigger than this for these pieces. Number one, they don't fit my car. They're bigger than that. <laughs> but also because I'm only so so tall, and so if I want to make a big bold move, I have to practice it. I have to be able to use my whole arm, my whole body to make that. And it's it's an interesting physical process to make that thing go from the little thing, just just moving little things around, to like full body making the painting. What is large of this piece? Well, that is part of the same one, the same series. And I honestly don't think the painting that it came from is here. I'm sorry, I can't recall which one is here. <laughs> it's related, it's all there. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, but the photo that's next to it is, you know, I thought it was interesting after I was putting this show together and I realized I had taken photographs of some of my research with the vinyl um, where I was doing these paintings and then um, photographing them outside and the wind and so on that I was still coming up with shapes and patterns and so forth that, that show up in my paintings. So I'm obviously even working in different medium attracted to similar things. You know, it goes back and forth between the little thing that generates the big thing and the big thing that generates the little thing. Oh, that's <laughs> Um, so you said you can't tell us about the meaning, but the inspiration for everything, like, was it just things that you saw, you know, like in your everyday life and the colors and you just put them together? Like, maybe talk Well, about I do them. spend a fair bit amount of time if I, if, if, if I'm not doing collage, if I'm not finding pieces, you know, things to do in a painting, then I'm out with my camera just taking pictures of things, either gathering materials, like something that might be in it. Or looking for something that's like a ready-made painting. Because sometimes if you're looking and letting yourself imagine something that you, like, I don't know, you might find a spot on the concrete or something. Mm -hmm. there, there are things that will go like, oh, there's a composition. You zoom in and you just take your time. So some of that stuff is just really just from just like slowing down and not being judgmental about what can be a painting. Oh, wow.